Hey, hi, good evening, guys. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Julio. Good evening, teacher. Uh, hello, Ivan. Welcome. Hello, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Hey, what's what's going on with with the rain? Is it raining uh, in your house where you live? Yes, it is raining, teacher. But I think it's um it's calmed down. <laughs> I think. I you think it's it come coming come coming down, right? Uh huh. All right, coming down. Yeah, you can say coming down. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Good. Good. Hey, hi, Jorge, Luis, and Carla, René. Hello, guys. What's up? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hey, I like your background, Jorge. Mm -hmm. I recognize that picture. And thank you, teacher. Yes, that is uh, the shout from Van Gogh, right? Yes. No, no, no. That is the, the night start, I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know the name. Um, the artist is a uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, yes. Yes. Yeah, Van Gogh is pretty famous. You know about Van Gogh, guys? Van Gogh, the artist. For me, is very interesting. Uh, yeah, correct. It's pretty interesting uh, to know about about his work. La Noche Estrellada, I guess. It is the background that you have. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay, pretty good. Hello, guys. Uh, Luis, uh, let's see. Uh, Luis Eduardo, welcome. Ivan. Good nice evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. And Carla, Jorge, and Julio are already online. Okay, guys, uh, today we finish the week number three. We are about to finish the course. One week more for this more of classes, and we, we're going to be done. Imagine you will advance to another level. Great. Uh, let's see. I'm going to share the computer, my computer monitor uh, in this moment, so we can see the class today that we have. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, you see uh, the, the screen, right? You're seeing it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you do. All right, perfect. Uh, today we have class or session number 12, guys. Number 12. Okay, let's open it already. Ta -da -da, we know this. Okay, we can pass this over. All right, we are going to continue with the topic about the past perfect, but in this opportunity, it's going to be about the negative how to make negative, how to respond questions as well. Okay, uh, let check, check, check. There it is, a picture in the sentences. I, I hadn't. Run. I ran a lot in a race. Yes, yes, yes. I hadn't run a lot in a race. All right, can you try to read it faster? Mm -hmm. I have run. A lot in a race. Okay, pretty cool. I hadn't run a lot in a race. Yes. Let's check this topic. Remember this from last night? Remember the the chart? Yes. Okay. See, this is pretty much the same, pretty much the same, but with a small differences. All right, we represent the past event with a circle. There it is in the orange square is the situation before the past. That means the past perfect. Okay, until there is the same. But we have negative things and questions that we can uh, practice. Let's see how to form the past perfect, but in the negative. The negative is the Subject plus have plus not plus verb participle plus complement. And the complement, yes, that's it. Pretty much only 
you are going to add not to the negative. And that's it. Only three letters to make the negative. Or it can be <laughs> contracted. Remember the contraction uh, for the negative from last night? We did a couple of sentences in the negative, I remember. Remember the contraction? Hadn't. Uh -huh, correct, yes, hadn't. Correct, that's it. Good, good. Uh, Carla, can you read uh, this as first sentence in the screen? She hadn't felt so bad for a night with her mother. For a night, a night, a night, a night, let me see. Night, night. No, it's not night. Oh. It is? Fight. It is a discussion, a fight. Okay, check. The picture is representing the sentence. Can you read it? Uh, can you read the sentence, please, Jorge? She hadn't felt so bad for the fight with her mother. That's it. Okay, she hadn't felt so bad for a fight with her mother. And here is the contraction in the negative that we need to use. All right, no, no big issue with this, right? No questions, I guess. Nope. So I continue. Okay, it's pretty simple. Adding not to make the negative. Okay, action one. What is the action one in this sentence? Action one is? The fight with her mother. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay, what do I do if I have this, if I have this sentence in the chart? Where do I place it? Where do I place this sentence in the chart? Where? In the past perfect or in the simple past? Action number one. Uh -huh. Ideas? Simple past. In the simple past. That's it. Correct. Yeah, you're right. I place this action in the simple past. And the other? What is the action number two? Feeling bad. Feeling bad. After you fight, you feel bad. All right? So, action two. Where? What is the place for the action number two? Past perfect. In the past. Correct. I place it. The past perfect. Okay. Uh, in this case, if you check, first you fight, then you feel bad. And after those sentences, you you realize I hadn't I hadn't felt so bad for a fight with with my mother. You said. And that is representing the past perfect in the negative, the negative part. Okay, let's see. Um, those are the two things that we need to take in account, the auxiliary and the word not. Okay, let's see uh, how to form this, the past perfect, but in question, in question, can you read, uh, let's see, can you read the part, Romeo? Hello, Romeo, welcome. Thank you. Um, past perfect and negative question, how to form the past perfect question. Had plus subject plus verb participle plus complement plus, uh, plus question. the question mark. <laughs> Uh, correct, because yeah, question sometimes mark. we forget to place yeah. the question mark, so it is not a question in grammar or even in intonation, right? What is the intonation for questions? It depends on the question. How old are you? How old are you, Romeo? 
Uh, I am 38 years old. Ah, okay. Did you sleep well last night? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Good. Yeah. When you make questions, depending on the intonation. Okay. Yes. Good. Guys, one example. Can you think in one example in a question in the past perfect? Example, question in the past perfect. Let's see if you remember how to make questions. The formula is this one. Pretty simple. Okay, can you can you think in one one question example? Maybe uh, let's see Francisco, maybe Carla, Romeo. Teacher, have you listened to the Arabic music? Have you have you listened uh -huh, to Arabic music? Uh, Arabic. Uh, in movies, yes. Yes, I have. Music, okay, check. Have you? Participle is with. Remember? ED, because it's regular. Okay. Have you listened to Arabic music? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, now a question with an irregular verb. Think in one irregular verb and form a question, please. One example only, one example. Uh -huh. Just one, just one of you. Question in the past perfect using irregular, irregular verb. Uh -huh. mm. Only one, only one. I know that you can do it. I have one teacher, but I don't know if it's okay. Let's see it. Have you swum in a Delsey? Swoon, can you spell it? S-W-U-M. Swoon, in a? Del C. I don't know okay. how can I say Mar Muerto. Ah, in the Dead Sea. Ah, uh, mm. Have you swum? Okay. Is this correct, guys? Is this a participle? Is it a participle? Yes or no? Are you sure? So we can check. Okay. I can check using the dictionary. Uh, the past participle of swim. So it is correct. Yes. So uh, have you swum in the Dead Sea? But the question, this question would be better in the present perfect. Would be better in the present perfect, not in the past. Because I have not gone to the Dead Sea any time. So if you ask me this, mm -hmm. uh, it is like, mm, um, no, but I haven't been there. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is distance is for things that you did in the past and things that you can make a question for example hey guys have you have you been uh, angry with your parents uh, before a fight have you been angry with your parents before a fight uh-huh yes or no yes they did Yes, okay. Have you been have you been angry with your parents before a fight? What is the answer? Ideas? Have you been habían estado enojados con tu papá antes de una pelea? Uh -huh. That is the question. Yes or no? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. 
No, the answer is no, because you cannot be angry before, before ah. a fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got you. Got you, got you. You are angry after you fight. Oh. That is the thing. Uh-huh. Okay. So, in this case, uh, you can make the question with the present perfect. That sounds that sounds better. But for the past perfect, is for things that you did in the past and you try to and you try to remember ah yeah i felt bad in that moment i hadn't felt so bad after the fight with my mother for example okay let's see depends on the question depends 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 all right what is uh, the example what is the example have, Have you, you visited? visited? All right, okay. Uh -huh. uh, Sofia, I, I think that Sofia spoke. Or Carla. Sofia. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Have you visited this place before? Uh, what is the place in, in the picture? What is the place? Paris. Ah, uh, it's Paris, right? In France. Tower. Uh -huh, the Eiffel Tower, correct. That oh. is the monument. Okay. What about if I ask you that, guys? Is it correct if I ask you this? Have you visited this place before? I think that is correct. Yeah, it is correct. Because yeah. you can have the experience or you don't have it. Right? You can be. You can be in the place. Imagine this is Romeo checking the phone sending a selfie to his friends on Facebook and I am there and I ask you, Romeo, have you have you visited this place before? No, teacher. No, no. Uh, no, I ha I hadn't. <laughs> Correct. No, I hadn't. Yeah. This yeah. is my first time in the place. So it is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is correct. Okay, pretty good. Um so we can make many questions. Let's open the link. Let's see. This is uh, pretty much the same, the same website from last night, but in the negative. Okay. Uh, can you help me with the reading, please? Uh, let's see, Alejandra. Alejandra, are you online? Are you attentive to the class? Yes. Maybe. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Alejandra. Uh, help me with the reading, please. Yes. Okay. We don't use the past perfect a lot in a lot of in English, but it is useful and it sounds very good if you can use it correctly. Also, it's really easy to make use the past symbol of have and the past participle. Okay, thank you. There it is. Just the past simple of have. What is the past simple of have? I have is present. Simple past. Hello, hello. Simple past. I have. I have. That's it. I had. And the participle, remember. Okay, continue. Let's see. Help me with the reading. Maybe Anna, Anna Ivania. Uh, okay, we are going to review a little bit. Okay. Uh, the positive make it with have plus uh, the post participle usually made by adding a, the, ed to the infinitive. Uh, but a few verbs have irregular past participles. All right, we have seen already that because we have regular and irregular verbs and for the regular, the thing changes. Okay, continue. Also, also here's a, some help if you are not so sure how to pronounce ed at the end of a verb. Ah, this is kind of useful for you. 
Aha, yesterday we were practicing in the examples. Remember uh, the verb collect? Remember? Yes? Collect. How do you pronounce collect in the simple past or participle? Uh -huh. Don't remember? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the link that you need in that case. Then how to pronounce, check, how to pronounce ED at the end of upper. Upper, oh. but is regular. Oh, oh, regular. Okay, okay. Regular or irregular? No, this one is for, for regular, not for irregular. No, this is yes. only for regular ED, verbs. ED in regular ED. verbs. Okay. Correct. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. Uh, let's see. Uh, help me, please, uh, Luis, Luis Eduardo, with, with this part. Okay. It's difficult to know how to pronounce ED in English because it's pronounced in three different ways. It depends on the letter before. Okay. It depends on the letter before, that's it. We are making a, a small review about, sim, about regular verbs in the simple past or participle because they are the same. Okay, this is one example. How do you pronounce this verb? With ID, with T or D? Is with D, pronounced. It's pronounced in three different ways, blah, blah, blah. It's D. Let's check. The three ways. The three ways are, check. ID. Like. Painted. Painted. Is painted. It is like that. And in this link, you have this. Sound. Let's see. Painted. Painted. Okay, it's kind of difficult to hear, but it's half clear. Painted. Number two. D. With D. Yeah. Like in. Play. We don't say play it. We don't say play it. We say played. With D. All right. Check. This is the participle that we need for the past for the past perfect. That is the participle. Played. Listen. Played. Played. And finally, is the letter T. The letter T. Like hoped. in hoped. hoped. Yes. Hoped. 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 And that's it. Okay, the most important thing to remember is this. If the verb has a D or a T sound before ED, you need to pronounce ID. If it doesn't, don't pronounce an extra syllable. Okay, you can practice, you can check this link, guys, in order to have more things to take on account when using the participles of the regular verbs. Check. You can practice listening the verbs according with the pronunciation. And at the end, at the end you have uh, eh? no exercises. Okay, this is only pronunciation, pretty much. Okay, coming back, coming back to the past perfect. Uh, let's see, Sofia, what are the examples? Four, four examples first. Okay. I have been. I have been becomes in. I've been. I'd. I'd been. Because is contraction. Continue. You have gone. Don't. You'd, you'd gone. You'd. Uh -huh, you'd gone. Correct. She had met. She'd met. Mm -hmm, correct. 
Okay, continue. He had played. He played. He played. That's it. It had rained. It rained. It rained. Mm -hmm. Remember, participle. It rained. D. All right. We. We had bought. With both. With both. And finally. They had studied. They studied. They did. They did study. D. Okay. They did study. Okay. Very good. Uh, check. You can pronounce the contractions when using affirmative sentences or negative in the past perfect. Okay. Uh, help me, please. Uh, la, 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 la. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Catherine, teacher. Catherine. Hello. Okay. Continue from this part, please. Okay. The short for, for, form for have is D. Be careful not to confuse it with wood. Wood is followed with by the infinitive I'll the it'll go. I'd go because this is a contract. I'd, I'd, I'd go. go. I'd go. I'd go. Whereas how is followed by the past participle, I'd gone. All right, pretty good. Ah, uh, Carla, remember, hey, teacher, uh, how do I know when I have the past participle or with would you asked, correct? Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh. here is the explanation, simple. Would is followed with the followed by the? Infinitive. The infinitive, normal, normal verb. Sorry, normal verb. Whereas? Had is followed by the past participle that in this case is is gone. And that's it. No more. There is no more explanation. Okay, what happens uh, for the negative? Please, uh, la, la, la. help me, please. Uh, da, da, da. Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. Hey, teacher. All for right. the negative, for the negative, you just out not with the contraction too. Oh yeah, with with examples. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have not been. I have been. You have not gone. You have gone. You haven't gone. She had not met. She hadn't met. He had not played. He had. He hadn't played. It had not rained. It hadn't rained. We had not bought. We hadn't bought. They had not studied. They hadn't studied. Okay, thanks. All right. Pretty good. But remember that at the end is letter T. You hadn't, you hadn't gone. You hadn't met. All right. Yes. He hadn't played. Played D. I know, guys, this takes a lot of practice because you are using hadn't. Besides that, you need to remember how to pronounce the participle of the regular verbs. At the beginning, it might be kind of, I don't know, no, no so confusing, but kind of difficult with the pronunciation, but with the practice, remember, with the practice. Okay. Here's a uh, exercise and an exercise. It should say an exercise about the positive and the negative forms. Let's click on check. All right. What is the indication there, uh, Ana Ivania? The indication, please. Past perfect, positive, and negative. Make the positive or negative past perfect simple. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when I arrive at the cinema, the film. Okay, this uh, is number one. Make okay, the positive, positive or negative. 
or negative past past perfect perfect simple, simple correct okay when, when I, I arrived okay we are gonna try to pronounce oh what is this what's this okay we are gonna try to pronounce the participle of the regular verbs or the irregular don't worry okay again please when i when i arrive at the cinema the film arrived 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 okay uh, what is the the answer what is the answer for number one uh, in our negative uh, mm -hmm. uh, Uh, is this negative, guys? Guys, uh, let's see, Sofia, Julio, guys, is this negative or affirmative? Okay. Affirmative. 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 Ah, affirmative. Correct, affirmative. Check. There is a period. When you have, when you have not in this part, that means that it's negative, but this one is affirmative. So, answer, the answer ah. is... I... Uh -huh. With the start, uh, the answer is with the start. The verb I... that you need to use is the start, but in the start. participle, yes. Start. I I had um. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. I have a start. No, please help me. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, guys. Remember, but sometimes you are gonna okay. use uh, the subject I, and sometimes no. I because have I why I again because I is already here. You don't need to use it a second time in this one. When I arrived at the cinema, had start. Correct. The film. The film is the other subject. The mm -hmm. film. So. Uh -huh. have, have. Have. I have. I know you don't need I. You okay. don't need it. The film is the subject. Eh? Uh, okay. The first subject have is start. I in this one. And mm -hmm. the second subject is the, the film. Subject. All right. Have participle of a start. With start. a pronunciation. Active. Start. start with ed uh id id start uh, it started started started, it started. Okay. it's like this it start it started kind of like this it started it started oh sorry it started okay i uh, i come on what's going on with this Okay, had it started, correct. That's it, pretty good. Let's see, Romeo number two, can you make it? She has a lead. In this one. She has, she, she has lived. In China before she went to Thailand. All right, she had lived in China before she went to Thailand. Okay, pretty good. Let's see, Sophia. Number three. Okay. After they had eaten the selfish, they began to feel sick. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. That's it. Next. Number four. Uh, help me with this one, maybe Catherine or Carla. If you have. Uh -huh. And listening. Listening. Mm, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know pronunciation. Uh, okay, no problem. The... Is listened. Listen. Me. Yeah, listen. Big ing in, in the past perfect ing doesn't exist. 
Okay, it's <laughs> so no problem, no problem. It's ED because it's regular. Listen. We did. Listen, if you have listened to me, you will have got the job. Oh, that's a heavy sentence. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of this sentence? What's the meaning, guys? Si tú me hubieras escuchado. Si me hubieras, right? Si me hubieras, si me hubieras escuchado. Eh, hubieras tenido trabajo. I don't know. Obtenido, obtenido. Obtenido trabajo. Yes, yeah, correct. How do I say? Si no te hubieras ido, yo hubiera sido tan feliz. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Guys, you know the song, right? <laughs> That's a small portion of a song. All right. Okay, number, next one, number five. Yes, yes, number five. Julio? Uh, Julio didn't arrive until I, I hadn't lived. Uh, I think it's left. Okay. Uh, until, until I have, uh -huh. I have I had left. Left, you said, correct. Okay, leave it. Uh, regular or irregular? Irregular. Irregular, irregular. correct, because it's different. It's different. Okay, pretty good. Number six. When we have finished dinner, we went out. When we have finished. Okay, finished is with pronunciation T. Is with pronunciation T, correct. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Next, number seven. Let's see, maybe Jorge or Romeo. Seven. This is okay. the guard. The garden was dead because it has been dry all summer. Ah, okay. It has been dry all summer. Okay, that's it. Okay, we are going to stop in this one. Just to check, you have, ah, but we have negatives. Okay, let's do a couple of negatives. Let's choose, -da -da -da, this is affirmative, affirmative, affirmative. Okay, here, number 11 is negative. Okay. Anyone? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. The grass was yellow because it uh, hadn't rained all summer. Hadn't rained all summer. Hadn't uh, rained. D. Mm -hmm. Okay. All summer. All summer. That's it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Apostrophe in letter T for the contraction and the participle. No more. No more, no more. Next, uh, number 12. The lights went off because we didn't pay the electric bill. Okay, okay. Pay, didn't pay. Pay. But uh, why didn't? Why? Because... Uh, we don't pay the electric bill. Ah, okay, but notice, notice that we are making negative sentences, but the tense is the past perfect. Check. Past perfect. And didn't, didn't belongs to the simple past. In negative, it's different. It's a different thing. So, the correct is? Haven't. Correct, yes. Haven't 
Ah, uh, but I have a problem. I have a, still a problem. I need the participle of pay. What is the participle of pay? Paid. 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 Yes. Paid. Paid. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ivan, remember hadn't for negative in the participle. Okay. The auxiliary hadn't in the participle. Okay. For the past for the past perfect. Didn't forget about didn't. Forget about didn't. Okay, no problem. Okay, pretty good, guys. Um let's see just uh, one more this one number 15 we couldn't me teacher okay go ahead we couldn't go into the concert because we uh, we we hadn't brought our tickets uh we hadn't Brought. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Brought. I get. Oh. PhD. Brought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Irregular. Check. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, okay. I know I have the buttons in next to the sentences. Okay. Correct. Pretty good. Correct. This one, correct. All right. Uh, okay. This one. Correct. Correct. Okay, guys. I know this is empty. Uh, -da 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 -da. Correct. Negative, correct. And the last one. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Okay, that is how you do negative sentences in the past perfect. Now let's practice a little bit about the questions because we got pen in that part. Question. Let's see. I'm gonna open the link. Past perfect negative, but this is negative sentences. We know how to do negative sentences. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. past perfect questions. Here is the link. Okay, past perfect conversation questions. What is the indication? Uh, let me see. Uh, um, -da 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 -um. Sophia, 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 what is the indication for this exercise? Answer the following past perfect tense questions. Try to use full sentences. Then continue your conversation naturally if possible. Okay, Sophia. Make the first question to Luis Carranza about this. And Luis, you're going to answer with, or you're going to speak with Sofia. Okay, Sofia, make the question. Have you tried Thai food before going to Thailand? Yes, Luis? Uh, no, I hadn't. Okay, no, I hadn't. That's it. Okay, pretty good. That's it. Easy. Romeo, number two question for Ivan. Uh, have you seen a Ken 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 Reeve movie before you watch The Matrix? Okay, about the movie. Yeah. Yes, I have, Romeo. Ah, you have. Okay, pretty good. Yes, I have. Where? In which? Oh. In which part? Or in in which movie? Before, before you watch Matrix. Remember, Ivan. Yes. In which movie you saw in Reeves? I just think in a real movie before you watch it, the matrix. Uh -huh. uh, all right. Okay. No problem. If you don't remember. No, it. no, I had it. No, I had it. Sorry. Ah, but you said, yes, I have. Yeah. You said, yes, I have. 
That means that you saw Kenny Reeves in another movie, but wasn't The Matrix. Aha, okay. That's it, no problem. Okay. Romeo, make the question for, let's see, for Carla. Number three. Okay. Have you used the internet before you start high school, Carla? No, I hadn't. Okay, very good. Just, uh, just uh, a details. Participle of a start. Pronunciation is a started. A started. That's it. Okay, very good. Let's see, Ana Ivania, make the next question for Melissa. Number four. Have you tested alcohol before you turn it a eating? 18. 18. Ah, that's an interesting question. <laughs> repeat it, please. Repeat it. Uh -huh. Have you tested alcohol before you turn it 18? Melissa? Um, Have you? No. <laughs> uh -huh. no. I no. Uh, no, I have. Ah, no. Okay, no, you haven't. Right. I haven't. Have you tasted? Participle, we pronounce it tasted. Taste it, correct. Alcohol before you turned D. Before you turned 18. Okay, good. Let's see, Ivan, make the question, the next question for for Julio. Ivan? Ivan, Ivan? Hello? Yeah, okay, here, here. Have you heard about the past perfect tense before today? Yes, I have. Okay, pretty okay. simple. Okay, guys, if you have questions starting with the auxiliary, simple. You have an affirmative, short answer, or negative. Only two options. Okay, very good. Number six, uh, let me make the question. I'm going to make the question for, for Catherine Lisbeth. Catherine, have you met a good-looking person? Ah, but, okay, the example. Before you met your <laughs> husband, are you married, Catherine? Are you married? No. No. Single? Yes. <laughs> Boyfriend, no? No. Ah, okay, but, okay, but you can answer. Have you met a good-looking person before... Let's stop yes. until before because you met me <laughs> doesn't apply. Uh -huh. um, yes, I have. Yes, yeah, you have. Okay, pretty good. Okay. Carla, question number seven. Make it for Sophia. Okay. What have you learned before you first went to school? All right. I I had learned uh, the number of my teacher. Okay. The name of my the name of my teacher. The name of your you had learned. Había aprendido usted el nombre de su teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, number eight. For how long, this is for you guys, if you want to answer, go ahead. For how long have you studied before your most recent exam? For how long have you studied? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Me teacher. Okay. Go ahead. I have, uh I have studied uh for a month. For a month. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, for, for an exam. Which exam? 
I, I was uh, I was studying a master degree. Oh, in your career. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, all right. A month that is a long time for a test. Okay, pretty good. That's it. Very good. Uh, Romeo, make the question. Let's see for for Carla. Next number, number nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah. Among the people in this room, whom have you met before today? Okay. No co-workers in the class, Carla. No, not in this class. Ah, okay. So you can make a negative sentence about this question. Among the people in this room, whom had you met before today? No, I hadn't. No, I hadn't. Uh, okay, but check. You can answer yes or no if the question begins with had. But for this one, for this type of questions, that means that the question is open. The person asking the question requires information. So it's, it's open. Mm -hmm. Among the people in this room, whom have you met before today? So the answer that you can give should be negative. Mm, okay. I hadn't had people. I hadn't. I hadn't, correct. Ha have. Have. Mm. Met. Uh, it's not have because have is the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. The participle is? Met. Is met, correct. I hadn't. Met. Met. Now the complement. What complement, Carla? People. Mm -hmm. People. People. Take this. Mm -hmm. In this room. All okay. right, pretty good. Most most of the times you can pick portions or you can pick parts from the same sentence, from the same question. So you can use it. I hadn't met people before in this room. In this room. That's it. So this is a negative, a negative answer, and that's it. No, no había conocido a personas en este. Ok. En esta sala. Ok. Number 10. Can you read it? Jacob, Jacob purchased his first house. How much money had he saved before he bought the house? Ah, uh, we don't have idea, right? About that. Jacob purchased with tea. Maybe he has saved for save. Correct. He had saved. Saved. Correct. Mention any quantity. For, for five years. Ah, but the question says, uh, Jacob purchased his first house. How much money? How much money? Uh, it's asking the quantity. Yeah. Uh, Mention any quantity, X quantity. One million. <laughs> one million. <clears throat> That's a huge amount. Oh, number one. Let's see, one million. Is it like this? Yes, right? Okay. Before you can use the same, the same before, thing. Before he bought the house. Before he bought correct. 
keyboard the cow. Okay, pretty much you are using the same part of this question. Okay, it is correct. Very good. Next, uh, how long? Sure. Yes, tell uh, me. How is the pronunciation? Porsche? Ah, uh, it's Porsche. 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 Okay. Porsche. We can okay. check. We can check. Pick the word, copy the word, and let's check in any of the dictionaries. Ah, but no ID. No ID. But mm. let me see if we can see the participle. No, right? It doesn't appear. Let's see in the other. No, only the infinitive. Uh, another option? Let's see. Okay, at last resource, como ultimo recurso, right? Last resource. Da -da -da -da. Purchased. Uh huh. Purchased. 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 With T. Purchased. 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 With T. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's see. You can continue checking the type of questions that you can have with the past perfect. Remember that in these links, you can practice the grammar about the topic. And then you can go the you can go and do the assignments in the platform. Please finish the section number four because today we finish the week number three about that. And the links are there, negative and questions so you can practice with. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. Have a good time. Relax if you have time. Go and drink something, eat something, and see you on Monday. Okay. Thank okay, you. See you on okay, Monday. Teacher. Teacher. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Right. For, for see you next week, guys. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.